let us take up this gauss seidel iterative technique an iterative method so gauss seidel method is an iterative algorithm for solving the non linear alge algebraic equations of the power systems so initially we will assume some uh, values uh, initially we will not be knowing the any solution so initial solution vector is assumed and this uh, initial vectors is assumed from the past experiences or from the statistical data or from the practical considerations and at every sub uh, subsequent iteration the solution is updated till the convergence is reached some convergence means we need to get the desired value so gauss seidel method and it, it is one of the uh, popular iterative technique for solving non linear algebraic equations so uh, applying this gauss seidel method to the power system analysis so let us take up a uh, case by case first case a uh, system with pq bus if there are only pq buses present in the power system if there are only pq buses present in the power system then how we can apply this the gauss seidel method to find out the various quantities of the power system so initially all the assume all the buses are uh, pq type of buses and they accept uh, there will be one slack bus so except slack bus all the buses present are pq buses then that means if there are n buses in the power system if you take the slack bus as bus number 1 so your, your total number of pq buses will be n minus 1 so they are for n minus 1 pq buses for n minus 1 pq buses the uh, we know the uh, complex power at any bus the complex power at any bus is given by si is equal to bi into summation of j is equal to 1 to n y i j into v j conjugate so this equation we have studied in the power flow equations power flow equations so this can be written as uh, uh, if we take the conjugate uh, uh, throughout again si conjugate is equal to vi conjugate uh, here the conjugate will be uh, cancelled so uh, we know that the si is equal to pi plus jqi but uh, is, uh, since it is a conjugate you will get pi minus jqi si conjugate is equal to pi minus jqi so we get if you substitute this here pi minus jqi this uh, vi conjugate if you take it this side left side so this will be divided pi minus jqi divided by vi conjugate is equal to summation of j is equal to 1 to n y i j into v j so now if we expand this equation if we expand this equation if you take out the j uh, ith bus from this uh, summation uh, here the buses uh, lie from uh, bus j, uh, 1 to n if you take out the ith bus if you take out the ith bus your equation would be y i i v i plus summation of j is equal to 1 but j should not be equal to i because we have removed the ith bus from this equation this summation we have removed the ith bus out, we have taken outside so j is equal to 1 to n but i should not be equal to i y i j v j so rearranging this taking this summation to this side and uh, equating vi is equal to so we if we equate vi is equal to it will be equal to uh, this term will be divided to all this term so 1 by y i i 1 by y i i into uh, pi minus j q i divided by vi conjugate here we have the vi conjugate minus this term will go to this side so it will become minus the summation of j is equal to 1 to n but j should not be equal to i y i j into v j where i is equal to uh, 2 3 up to n because bus number 1 is the slack bus so this is the equation that we are going to use uh, when the, we when we want to calculate the voltage at any particular bus any particular pq bus so now uh, we got the formula let us see how the how to calculate the uh, voltage at any pq bus here this, this this is a voltage vector if you take the magnitude and angle you will have uh, voltage magnitude and phase angle delta so let us see the algorithm of this gs method applicable to the pq buses so for the given power system uh, the first we need to prepare the data given for the system and uh, after that we need to formulate the admittance matrix that is y bus bus admittance matrix we need to calculate by using the 
uh, rule of inspection by inspection method we need to find out the y bus and next next step is we need to assume the initial voltages we need to assume the initial voltages for uh, all the pq buses all the pq buses we need to assume the initial voltages as 1.0 per unit and angle as 0 degrees so initially we need to assume the values uh, voltage being treated as 1 per unit angle as 0 degrees and this assumption is referred as the flat state solution in power system this assumption of voltage uh, is 1 at an angle of 0 is called as the flat state solution and uh, once you assume the values we need to update all those values in uh, this equation so for any k plus first equation first iteration the voltage are given by uh, the whatever the voltage equation we have derived this now uh, this can be modified in order to take the multiple iterations so vi of k plus 1 iteration is equal to 1 by yii pi minus jqi divided by vi of k into conjugate vi of k will be initially when you are uh, using the for first iteration this k value will be equal to 0 so here you will get the vi of 0 vi of 0 means it is the initially assumed value initially assumed value minus summation of j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 yij vj of k plus 1 so here uh, in the previous term we had i is equal to 1 to n but i should not be equal to uh, sorry j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 but i should not be equal to j should not be equal to i right so here we have uh, neglected the ith ith bus in this equation so we have neglected the ith bus of we have taken the buses till from j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 1 to i minus 1 again i plus 1 so ith term is neglected here so i is equal to sorry ith bus is neglected here j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 taken one side and before the ith bus whatever the voltage was will be known before the ith bus voltage values will be known so vj of k plus 1 so vj of k plus 1 and next after the ith bus the values are not known so j is equal to i plus 1 up to n buses y i j into v j of k so it is the initial uh, values we need to uh, substitute here so this is the general expression uh, to calculate the voltage at any pq bus uh, for any number uh, for iterative method next step is we need to carry out this iteration till the difference between the successive iteration should uh, should lie between the within the tolerance value within the tolerance value so this uh, uh, this is the tolerance symbol so this difference between the successive iteration should be between the tolerance value so generally it is customary to use a value of around 0.0001 uh, per unit so 0.0001 per unit after that uh, we need to compute this lac bus power after voltages are converged using the uh, voltage equation so next point is uh, we need to compute all the line flows uh, whatever the power flows through all the lines we need to compute and the complex power loss in the line complex power loss in the line also we need to compute that is com complex power loss in the line is given by for uh, if you take uh, consider the two buses bus i and bus k uh, complex power is uh, complex power loss is given by uh, power complex power at bus i plus uh, bus bus i to k plus bus uh, k to i so the total loss in the system is calculated by summing the loss over all the lines so by using this equation we can calculate total power loss complex power loss that is pl minus jql is equal to vl 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 of conjugate uh, into summation of j is equal to 1 to n y1 of j into vj so this is the algorithm for uh, calculating the bus voltages uh, when the when there are only pq buses present in the power system let us see there are uh, pv buses also present in the power system so i mean there are only pq buses we have seen the uh, voltage equation and the algorithm how to uh, uh, do the power flow analysis 
Uh, when there are PV buses also included in the power system, we know that at the PV bus the magnitude and the quantities that are specified are power and voltage. And the quantities that we need to calculate are voltage. Oh, sorry, uh, quantities that we need to calculate are reactive power and angle delta. So and the react, uh, formula for reactive power, um, calculation of reactive power is as follows. So from the complex power formula you can see this the we are separating the real and imaginary terms real term will be the uh, real power or uh, imaginary term will be the uh, reactive power so if you separate and if you take out the ith bus from this equation ith, ith bus from equation so finally uh, we have seen this derived this equation in the power flow equation so q is equal to uh, minus summation of j is equal to 1 to n vi vj vij sin of theta ij minus theta uh, delta i plus delta i so this is the formula that we used to calculate the reactive power at the pv bus so at the pv bus we need to calculate the reactive power and the angle delta so for angle delta we need to again use the same voltage equation where we will get the uh, magnitude and the angle so that angle we can calculate from the same voltage equation as we seen in the pq buses so here in the when there are pv buses included uh, we need to calculate this reactive power then we need to check for the limits of the reactive power so third case is uh, systems with pv buses with reactive power generation limits specified if the reactive power generation limits are specified first step is we need to calculate the uh, reactive power then we need to check the limits if the limits given or uh, q minimum and q, qi minimum and qi maximum if the calculated value falls within this minimum and maximum value calculated value falls within minimum and maximum value then we can proceed uh, consider the given bus as pv bus then we can proceed the number of uh, iterations if the calculated value does not fall within this limits if it goes beyond the limits let us say uh, it go uh, the calculated value will be less than the qi minimum value less than the qi minimum value under such case uh, the reactive power support will not be sufficient to maintain the uh, specified voltage at this particular bus so the whatever the voltage mentioned for the pv bus if the reactive power goes beyond the limits the reactive power which is not, uh, that will not be sufficient to maintain the specified voltage so under such case we need to treat that pv bus as pq bus and in the k uh, k first k plus 1 iteration we need to treat that as pq bus and we need to compute the voltage for the pq bus we need to treat the pv bus as pq bus under if the limits goes beyond the limits so if it is less than the qi minimum then you are uh, uh, for p we will be considering it as a pq bus so p q value we should take it as qi minimum if it is less than the qi minimum the q value should be qi minimum equal to qi minimum if it goes uh, greater than the maximum value if the calculated value greater than the maximum value then also we need to treat the pv bus as a pq bus then we need to calculate the uh, voltage at the pq bus so here uh, if it is greater than the maximum value then q value is equal to qi max qi max so uh, uh, for every iteration we need to check for the limits if it is false within the limits then we need to treat again back as the pv bus then we need to calculate the further iterations of reactive power